So you're hosting a Halloween party and you're running out of time and have no idea what to cook. I got you. Here are six super easy Halloween recipes for you to rock that Halloween party without having to spend hours grocery shopping or cooking. Let's get started. Our first dish, puking pumpkin guacamole. All you're gonna need is a nice big platter to serve it, then um, some guacamole. I just bought this. You can get it at like Walmart, Safeway, any of those, but you can also do your own homemade recipe. Um, and then you'll need a pumpkin, and lastly, you'll need some chips. Cool, so the first thing that you'll wanna do is carve out your pumpkin. You'll wanna first draw out the pumpkin's face. That way you know exactly what the pumpkin's face is gonna look like before you actually start carving. Now that you drew your pumpkin's face, it's time to start carving. Make sure that when you're carving out the eyes, your knife is going in at an angle. That way you don't have to cut all the way through your pumpkin. You're just really carving out the first layer of skin of your pumpkin. I don't know if you can see that, that looks so cute. Awesome, so now that you're done cleaning up and carving your pumpkin, you can now set your plate. So all you'll need is to bring back that bigger platter that I mentioned. If you have an even bigger one than mine, even better. So you'll set up your pumpkin just like this. Add in your chips. And you'll want to set your chips to the side to give space for the guac. Just grab some of that guac, really small part of it. Just add it into the mouth of your pumpkin. And then the rest of it, you can just spread it out right on your platter. And there you have it, your barfing pumpkin chips and guac. It looks so cute and it was made in less than five minutes. Up next, coffin sandwiches. Oh no. <laughs> Next recipe is our coffin sandwich, and I'm gonna be using chicken, but feel free to use tuna, pepperoni, whatever stuffing you want for your sandwich. All you're gonna need is some bread, some chicken, and some mayo. Feel free to also add additional condiments, some people like corn or stuff like that. So, so the first thing you wanna do is mix in your mayo with your chicken, and then this is also where you're gonna add in any additional condiments to your chicken. All right, we'll just mix it into that chicken. Are you helping me cook? <laughs> She's helping me cook today, y'all. Now that we're done with the chicken, we can go ahead and bring out the bread to make those coffins. You can actually use the back of your knife to shape out the coffin before you actually make any cuts. We're gonna now stuff it with our chicken. Now for our final piece, we're gonna add in some ketchup to the top of the coffin just to make that little. Well, there you have it, our cute little coffin sandwiches. And I even found some cute little cookie toppings for you to add to your plate and make it look even cuter. Our third recipe is a classic, Bloody Finger Hot Dogs. So all you're gonna need is your hot dogs, some ketchup, and your buns. With the sharpest knife that you have, you're gonna grab one of your hot dogs and you're gonna carve out your finger. After you're done carving out your finger, you're just going to cut a couple of slits to make some knuckles. And then you just go ahead and do the same thing for all of the other ones. Now that you've finished carving out your fingers, you can go ahead and put that to boil. Your bloody fingers are all set. Now we're just gonna cut a bun, drop that in there. And this is where the fun part comes. <laughs> Do you want some? Do you want some? She can't have any. Now you're just gonna drop in some of that blood.
And here they are, our bloody hot dog fingers. Super easy to make and super tasty. And that finalizes our savory snacks. Let's head on to our dessert. First up, spooky fruit platter. Now let's say you want to make a nice little healthy alternative for your desserts. Here are a couple of fruit options that you can do for your Halloween party. Starting off with your bananas. First thing you're going to want to do is chop them in half. And bring in some chocolate. Now let's go ahead and melt this chocolate. Perfect! Now that it's melted, you'll bring back your bananas. Set your bananas upwards like this. Now this step you can use one of these bottles, just dip it in and make a nice little eye on the banana. You could also use, you know, a spoon, a knife, anything, but I'm just going to use this cover because it's a little bit easier. Cool! So this is your first option, the ghost bananas. You can set this inside of your fridge to let it cool off, but save that chocolate because we're going to be using it next for our strawberry. Now for our strawberries. The strawberries are also super easy. All you're gonna need is those strawberries, some melted chocolate, and then some cookie icing and white. You're gonna want to make sure that that chocolate is nice and melted. And then we're just gonna grab one of those strawberries and dip it right in. And then you're gonna do the next strawberry, and the next strawberry, and the next strawberry. Now that your strawberries are nice and frozen up, let's go ahead and bring out the cookie icing and make the eyes and mouth. and your strawberries are all set. Now it's time to bring in your mandarin and your raspberries. For our mandarins, it's actually super simple. All we have to do is peel. I'm actually using a knife here to peel that mandarin because I'm gonna reuse the skin for our blackberries. Now that you've finished pe peeling your mandarins, you can actually buy some of these wormies and you just stick it in there. Here you have it, your little pumpkin mandarins. They look super cute. And now with the mandarin peels, you can actually use it as a nice little pouch for your blackberries. Now, originally that's exactly what I was going to do, but then I thought, okay, how do I make this a little bit more Halloween-y um, outside of just the orange and black of, you know, the natural color of the fruit. And so I had the genius idea of trying to make these like pumpkin faces on the peels and it took forever and it honestly was not worth it because you can't even see it um so yeah i mean if you want to do it go for it like cool you can do it but i wouldn't recommend it it took forever and it honestly just wasn't worth it so i'd probably just stick to the plan of using the peels as a pouch for your blackberries Ta -da! there you have it you have your strawberries your bananas your mandarins and your blackberry all ready for Halloween. So again, it's a healthier alternative, not exactly healthy because we do have some, some chocolate and some gummies in there, but it is such a cool, cute Halloween idea if you're looking for something that's a little bit healthier or you're just looking for a fruit platter. The whole gang is here. This looks so cute, actually. It, it looks adorable. Yeah, here you have it, a couple of different options with different fruit so you can do your fruit platter. Up next, haunted brownies. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make your favorite brownies. I just made box brownies. And then you'll want to cut it into square even pieces. Alright, now starting off with our spider web, you're going to want to cut your icing on the thinnest setting possible just to make your life a little bit easier. And it's actually quite simple. You're first just going to make four straight lines. Now all you have to do is make some wiggly lines in between those straight lines. And voila, there you have it. Now for the mummy brownies, what we're gonna do is grab that same icing and just go back and forth all the way down and back and forth all the way up again and add in those candy eyeballs. To finalize it all, I found this really cute cookie set at Walmart as well. And it comes with like some spiders, RIP, some eyeballs, which is what I use, and a couple of other cool items. So I'm just gonna decorate a couple of these spider webs with some of those tiny little spiders. And 
And there you have it, your mummy and spiderweb brownies. Our last dessert, Halloween brigadeiros. Our final recipe is an ode to my home country, Brazil. In case you're unfamiliar, brigadeiro is a typical Brazilian dessert, and it's mainly a chocolate fudge. The three main ingredients are sweetened condensed milk, heavy cream, and cocoa. Today, I'm gonna give you three options of a brigadeiro that you can make for Halloween. So starting off with our chocolate version, what you're gonna need is one can of sweetened condensed milk, one can of heavy cream, two tablespoons of cocoa. If you're not a fan of dark chocolate, you can also add one or two tablespoons of Nesquik or other chocolate powders, four tablespoons of butter, then all of your decoration items, mainly your chocolate sprinkles, your cupcake liners, your candy eyeballs, and your melted chocolate to make the legs. If you're wondering where you can find your sweetened condensed milk and that table cream, you'll typically find it in the Hispanic aisle the brand that I like to use is La Lechera for the sweetened condensed milk. Honestly, use this one. Don't use any of the other ones. This is the best one. And then for the table cream, I also like to use Nestle and it looks something like that. Start off by adding in your butter, your sweetened condensed milk, and your cocoa. Now turn on your stove to medium and start stirring. After you stirred for what feels like an eternity, it should look something like this. Once your brigadeiro starts to become a little bit thicker, you're going to want to decrease your stove to low and just keep stirring. You'll know that your brigadeiro is ready when it's completely unstuck from the pan, like this. Now you'll want to turn off your stove and add in your heavy cream. Once you're done mixing in your heavy cream, this is what it's gonna look like. Now you can just set it into your fridge until it cools down. With our melted chocolate, we're gonna make these spider legs. One quick tip, don't buy dipping or fondue chocolate for this step. You'll definitely want something like a magic shell that will harden instantly. Because we bought fondue chocolate, it kept melting right off our brigadeiro. So yeah, don't make the same mistake I did, guys. Now here comes the fun part. Grab a little bit of that butter, rub it on your hand like that. This is just to make it a little bit easier for that brigadeiro to not get stuck to your hand. Now you're gonna grab a spoonful of that brigadeiro, add it to your hand. You can make your little ball and just drop it into your sprinkles. The very last step is for us to decorate our brigadeiro and so you can go ahead and add your candy eyeball, your spider legs, and with the pieces of Oreo you can make some bat wings and this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, it's so adorable and it's very, very tasty. I know that it's a little bit trickier than the rest of the recipes I showed today, but it's super worth it. Now for our pumpkin brigadeiros, you're gonna need almost the exact same thing one can of sweetened condensed milk, one can of heavy cream or table cream, one cup of coconut flakes, four tablespoons of butter, some orange food coloring, some clothes for your stem, and your cupcake liners. For our pumpkin brigadeiros, we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna add in our butter, our sweetened condensed milk, and you'll stir. And this time, instead of the chocolate, we're going to be adding in our coconut flakes. Once your brigadeiro starts looking a little bit like this, where it's completely sticking off of the pan, we're ready to add our heavy cream and our food color. Now we're gonna do the exact same process. We're gonna butter up our hands and grab pieces of our brigadeiro to make these little brigadeiro balls. But instead of dipping it in chocolate sprinkles, we're gonna use plain sugar. 
and then we'll add it to our cupcake liners. To make the pumpkin shape, it's super easy. All you have to do is divide your brigadeiro into eight sections. So grab a fork or a knife and press it across your brigadeiro four times and that should get you the eight sections. After that, you can just add your clove upside down into your brigadeiro and voila, look how cute. And here they are, our little pumpkin brigadeiros. They look so adorable and they are so tasty. And here's what they're looking like all together. It looks so adorable. So I hope that you enjoy making them for your next Halloween party. That's it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Please let me know if you make any of these recipes. I would love to see videos, pictures of whatever you create. And happy Halloween. Bye. Today's video is super exciting. This is actually a video of me adopting my puppy. This is Bella. <laughs> 